I've been on the run But I would never run from your love But you feel on my dick, there's a gun Not right there, just a little above I value my relationship is forever Alright guys, quickly, um, before Um, uh, uh Before you guys get to the video Please let me know how the audio in this video is If I haven't said that in the video yet Um, just let me know how the audio is I'm recording it a bit differently So I wanna get some feedback on that Um, but yeah Go ahead to the video Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Today I'm gonna be showing you guys this really cool You know, like glitch, um, sort of Um, check out Toy Cat if you wanna learn a little bit more about this Um, he goes into explaining like How this happens, you know, and you know, and just some cool things you can do with this. Um, yeah, so check uh, check him out, IBX Toycat. He's one of the best um, Minecraft Bedrock um, players, um, in my opinion, um, on YouTube. So yeah, what you want to do is you want to set world type to old. And you want to type in this seed right here. Minus 8226. Three, four, seven, two. So that's the C that you want to type in. And set your world type to old. I'm going to put myself in creative mode. That way I can fly around and stuff. And then you just want to create your world. Now I haven't yet tried this out for myself. I've just seen the video. Um, and hopefully it'll work. Or this won't be a video. Um, yeah, I just want to show you guys this cool thing. And show you guys how you can do it as well. Um, but like I said, check out IBX Storecat to go into more detail and learn more about this um, whole little thing. I don't know what they call it. I don't, I don't think you can call it like a seed. I don't know if it's a glitch or whatever. Um, so, it's, um, depending on what you do, you can load in this whole world. Like You can go fly around this world. All the way to the corners, edges, because this world is only 256 by 256, which I'm pretty sure is 16 by 16 chunks. Um, so, because it's an old world, so it's pretty small. Um, like, it doesn't really matter if you load in the entire world or you don't. The thing that happens next is actually pretty cool. Um, I'm just going to load in the whole world. Well, not the whole world, I don't think. I'm gonna try to load in as much as the world as possible. Um, I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I just finished. Hopefully, loading the whole world. Um, I want to just save and quit. Then I'm gonna edit that world. Scroll all the way down, and then click on Make Infinite. And and you go ahead and play. And now what you see will be pretty crazy. Like, hopefully it worked. Um, Alright, so I spawn back right where I am, but look at this. <laughs> there's a, now there's a mesa, bo mesa biome surrounding the 16 by 16 chunk area that we were just in. And as you can see, it's basic, this, basic, this biome, uh, the, the map that we loaded in basically just cut through this mesa biome. And so all the chunks that weren't loaded or, and all the chunks that there were no chunks, um, like the void area, M Mesa biome just, um, or the rest of the world generated around um, in those areas. So a chunk was loaded there and there and there. All these chunks were just added around. That was So these chunks are supposed to be here. This area right here isn't quite supposed to be here. And you can still explore this world. Like, this is a regular infinite world, and... Beyond here are other biomes and things like that. You can actually find um, an ice spikes biome around here somewhere. Um, 
And then after, over here, there's a jungle, jungle, I believe. If it will load in fast enough. All right, guys. I found my guys. I found my way back. Well, I just died, but you know. But as you can see, all around here, there is just mesa a uh, mesa biome just right around, and then you can see into the side. You know, you know, you can see, you know, caves, gold, and you know, just like abandoned mine shafts, and just many more things. And the less chunks you load, the more chunks of the Mesa Biome will spawn in. So, said and uh, load this corner of the world, that would be Mesa Biome right now if I didn't load it in previously. So, you can do some pretty cool things with that. Um, and to see some more cool things like that, if you don't want to try it for yourself, check out, um, like I said, like three more times in the video, IBX Toy Cat. Um, because I found this from him. And his video is uh, pretty cool, actually. Um, you kind of can get a feel for like wh all you can do with this without even having to try it for yourself. I just wanted to try it for myself and show it to you guys um, because it seems so cool. Like this is, and he he shows many more like weird seeds like this, or if you, even if you can call them seeds, I don't know. Like I guess it is a seed. Um, just weirdly loaded. And, you know, it's just, just looking around, you could just see how, like, bizarre this is. And then there's also, uh, I think, well, there's a swamp on this side, I guess. But, yeah, so, just, this is a, uh, and then there's floating, floating, floating water right here. Um, but if you break one of these blocks next to it or touch it, it will flow down like a waterfall. Um, you know, it just, I recommend checking this out for yourself and also IBX Torquette. Um, I'll leave a link to his channel down in the description below and also his video. Um, like I said, it's pretty cool. Um, dang, this is a longer video than usual. And this was supposed to be a quick one. Um, yeah, yeah, but yeah, guys, that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Oh, you yeah, guys, also in the comment section below, uh, also in the comment section below, let me know how the audio is. Um, because one, one of my other videos, the game audio was too loud um, when I was playing a different game. Um, and I'm recording the audio a bit differently than usual, so let me know in the comment section down below um, how that is for you guys. Like I said, guys, that's all for now. Hope you enjoy it. Peace out.